fold camera on we got no sound desktop we have jammed why isn't it I'm, I might be going live to those who have come on early but um, there is something giving trouble oh that looks good it was just go back
Good morning all. Hope I can see people have started to arrive already. It's great to see the comments come up. You're all very welcome. Uh, so we'd have we have one person on show because the moon tour is here today and we're expecting the kicker. So you know we have to get up, you know, all the bits and pieces has to be done right. Um so I say you're very welcome and uh, we are progressing forward. Who would have thought a couple of weeks ago that we would have achieved the stage that we're at? We're still making mistakes, of course, but as we make the mistakes, um, we are all learning. I'm very, very impressed with uh, some newer people who are coming into us who are also struggling to get up and going. This is not easy. It takes a little bit of organising, but we are getting there. And especially to the people who are struggling. I have sympathy. I understand. But everyone is like that who has come into this. And we're all learning this new technology. So it's quite acceptable uh, if something goes wrong and it goes wrong in the, in a strange sort of a way. It's not the end of the world. And by things going a little bit astray, a little bit wrong, a little bit different to what we expect. Very often we have great results as far as we learn things. We don't never know you could do that. And this is a learning process. The very minute you think you understand what a computer is about, the little nerds will have come along and they will have bought a uh, another one uh, uh, for you. They'll, they'll, they'll have bought a new piece of equipment out on the on the system, right? So they're the main things, and let's get down to uh, down to business. Um, let's go and I want to talk to you about uh, various bits and pieces okay there's some stuff coming in on whatsapp it'll just take me a few minutes to now please go off screen uh, so we're going a little bit slow today um, Hmm. We are, we are, this is a, a technical hitch. We just have to wait for the um, for the thing to stop. You can see the way all those little arrows are going. So it's kind of just struggling. And we're asking the computer uh, to do too much. There's too much stuff uh, open, uh, and I will just have to wait. I'll just have to wait for it and uh, waffle away. Okay. Um, I've been very impressed with the. Um, the photographs that has come in the last time. Now, don't say we have totally crashed and uh, nothing is happening here. Oh, that made a difference, didn't it? What's that going to do? At least we've got a circle going around into into infinitum. Please. Oh, have I lost you? No, I don't think so. I don't think I have lost you. Um, I think this is looking quite good. I'll do it this way. Ah, oh, yes, I'll do it this way. Might be a safer way of doing it until it sorts itself out. Okay, the first thing that I want to talk to you about. Um, now, please open. Yes, it's the it's the it's the difficulties of um, probably too much running on the computer. This is the computer that does these sort of things. Need a good bit of. Oh yes, it's coming. It's just taking its time. It's probably because there are so many things running at the one time on the uh, on the computer. I have turned off Skype, so at least Skype is not happening in the uh, background. And we're all kind of looking for fast, fast-moving um, computers. Okay, now build up again. We just have to have patience. Or should we double click again? Isn't it? Now you I know how all of you are feeling. Oh, there comes that little fellow. We're looking for that fella. It says YouTube not responding. That doesn't look good, does it? It's not that. It's just the. Uh, uh, ah, good. We're, something is happening here. Get yourself out of a knot. We'll just. Why is. Well, I'm going to try and. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Mary says, "Hold on for a minute, not to be too too anxious." But as I say, time is um, is ticking away, and it's going around here in a circle. Would it allow me to close it? Would that be a good thing to do? You're all screaming. Yeah, we close that. Okay, that's not going to oblige us. Let's go for um, because maybe ah, here is Susan. Right then, okay. And will it let me go 
This is the photograph that Susan sent in for the, the homework that we were doing. And uh, I am, it, it, it is a very, oh, it's gone somewhere. Susan has gone somewhere. Maybe she'll come back. Uh, she sent this in for the, uh, uh, for the, for, for the blog. Oh, yes, yeah, she's back again. Now, will it, will it come on to the next one? Oh, it will. Things are looking good. Just have to have patience. You know about parent patience? Seldom in a woman and never in a man. Well, obviously, as Mary says, that's the problem with being a Gemini. Uh, she sent in this photograph. And when you read the blog, this suits absolutely perfectly with it. And uh, it looks like she went out and was very, very creative in getting the photograph to suit what she was going to write into the blog with the, with, with the writing. So this is very dependent upon reading what goes with it. And uh, when you put the two of them together, the story becomes much more obvious. Now, will this move? Why are we on a go slow? Why are we on a go slow? No, it never did this. All the things that went wrong on us, this is not one of the things that went, oh, we have an arrow, but it won't move to the next one. I wonder, can fall. I'll try it on the keyboard. Nope, not moving on the keyboard either. Oh, it did. That thing to do with patience. This photograph was put in by Pat. And it's, oh, yeah, okay, we're back. We did, it, it did a little twist there. It's back. Oh, it's gone. Oh, patience is a virtue. And uh, what is causing trouble here? Hmm, that popped up without too much trouble. Maybe it's because Photoshop is open in the background that uh, everything is um, competing with one another. And the reason why I opened it was so that I said to myself that I would be efficient and I would have all these things in the background ready for you to see. But the computer is not able to cope with it. This is the, the title slide that we make up uh, each time that you see coming up at the, up at the top. And that's where it is. Right. This is the photograph that Gary sent in for. I, I'm jumping all over the place because of the way the technology is. But this is the photograph that, that Gary sent in for to go with the cap with the little bit of copy that he put into it. And it's it, it's a very interesting photograph. But I put it here into in into Photoshop because I was going to explain it was was meant to come later. And I was going to explain about it because it's a perfect example of uh, some little things that you can do in Photoshop. A, we decided to show you three images in Photoshop, uh, if it all goes well, and show you little manipulations on them. And I put, took Gary's one out because it's a perfect example of when you bring up the levels. All right, when you bring up the levels, as you can see, um, you see the way it's all the exposure is all over to one side on it right and that's what's making it that kind of not that that punchy right so if you just pull the slider over right see how it punches itself back up again it can move a tiny little bit this way you can bring the slider into the side of the mountain you can't go in too far or you're going to lose you're going to lose detail in it and then after that then it can be brightened and darkened by moving the center one right Okay, so that was what um what why I showed up because it's a perfect example of where the um the exposure has gone a little bit off. Sometimes on the back of your camera, when you take a photograph, it pops up the histogram for you on the back of it, and it's a great a technical judge to be able to see um if if the photograph is right or wrong, and then you can always change it. Uh, if you've seen it on the back of the screen, say, well, that could do a little bit more or less exposure or whatever. And by playing, you will you will work out those sort of things. So that's that's one thing that I did with that. And the other thing as well is that I often find when you're photographing um, people, especially people with makeup on, they, the faces can be very shiny. 
And this man here faces him as a is a very shiny face. So it's very very easy. If, if, if in reality, if you're photographing uh, females especially and they've a lot of makeup on, get them to powder down at the end because a flat um, texture gives less chance of reflection compared to the shiny versions. But that's not the end of the world. So if I go in to in close from so you can see what I'm going to do, and all I did was I went to the clone tool right and I okay come to the clone tool things are slow today sorry and I you can make the, the, the you can see the circle there going near where the, sh the, the shiny bit is and then just I just make it about the size of the little or even smaller than that and I just take a little bit of the skin there at the so I, you put your finger on alt and um, it will hopefully give you the spot that it's sitting on oh we are there things are going very slow here no reason and you just see it going gone all right and also I won't do it now because I am afraid that the, the, the system is, is just being contrary this morning and too much running Um. I also in this photograph, we, if we get back to it, I brightened up the eyes and brought, brightened up the teeth a little bit, which only took two seconds to do. Uh, when you see the see what I've done, you say, well, maybe I might have overdone it, which might be a fair a fair point. So we'll just change that off so there's less in the system running. And it hasn't gone yet. It should be gone. Okay, bring in the next image. Oh, I see what I went and did. I, I closed off the wrong image. Now it's Gary's gone. Okay. It's being really... Now go away. Doesn't want to go away. We come back here. Okay, we get to here. Now, this was the photograph that you saw, and I said that I did a little bit of work on it. Uh, so hopefully there's less stuff open now, and it will be obliging us a little bit more. Um, hopefully the sound has been improved. I have sorted out the sound last night. I realised we had a problem. So when you go to do this, as I was saying, there's five or six different ways of, of doing it. So once you put up your... your your um, thirds of your division lines up on the screen that will give you an idea as to where to go to with the with the image you can see how long it's taken to, to reform on the screen so obviously the computer is screaming for for whatever now the boat is the center of interest right so the boat is going to end up with you know on one of these thirds oh right it could end up on one any one of the thirds right See the way I have it there now. Come on, build. I'm trying to get it there onto to land up onto one of the turrets. No, we, that would drive anyone mad. And in the photograph, I had brought that up to somewhere. Oh, I had it a bit further down, hadn't I? Hmm. That is not obliging us, is it? So I'm just going to say, just say it's all settled down. Okay. And we will close off Photoshop and let it go all together in the hope that that will make life a little bit easier as we go through this live stream. It's taking a little bit of time. So 
Now I know how everyone felt when they were doing things and it wouldn't it wouldn't work for us. You really need, you start going into doing a lot of things on the computer at the one time. Uh, you have to um, have a really strong computer for it. It's not closing. doesn't want to close so it's obvious the computer has got itself into it into a twist so I'm going to try control alt delete will alt control alt delete work for us no and now we see we have reached the stage of overclick oh yes things are starting to move here for us a little bit anyway And there's a blue fella going around. That's good. That makes us really... This is really riveting stuff to watch, isn't it? To see um, stuff giving trouble on a live stream. This is, this is the most challenging day so far. Please go away. Just have to wait, I think. You're probably out there and say to me, why don't I do something? If I said yes to that, maybe that's what it needed. Do, oh, okay, here's Control-Alt-Delete has come and uh, we will go to task manager that was a good sign this at least thing is going around in circles there something is happening oh yeah that was gone very higgly piggly there with all those old lines you saw a few minutes ago um, oh yes this is starting to look good this is starting to look good that's where I wonder would that be the one that says I'm afraid well that might be the fellow that's caused me my trouble I'm going to take a chance and get rid of him it's also where the stream is is coming from Okay. Okay. See, there was a lot of stuff here opened in the background that was giving us a huge amount of trouble. Is this? Is this? Oh, it's starting to work a little bit better now. Uh, so as you can see, there's an awful lot of stuff opening and closing on the screen, so we have to get rid of a lot of it. Um, what's this? Well, that's where. Minimize. That's where the stream is coming from. Don't want to hit that little button there, eh? end stream, or you'll be all gone from me. That's where it's going out on YouTube. Maybe if I minimize that, it won't be on screen. It might speed things up for me. And that's the piece of software that we are using to send it out. And this is the bit that's not responding very oh it's improving look great improvement here oh look at there's I wonder would that just build up well, could we could we get rid of Gary open Gary up here and get rid of his one Okay, let's go and see if we can get rid of Photoshop altogether. doesn't want to close sure it doesn't there's a task running in the back
we have to try and get rid of all this stuff that is just loads of stuff running in behind everything I will say no to that Gary you've gone funny oh you're back and the other one has disappeared take that away that doesn't want to close anybody with comments there as, as what I, what should be done <coughs> other than getting a hammer that's not closing that's got rid of it off the screen will that will that improve things a little bit for us sound is going through okay all that we're on desktop right then okay that all looks good let us try and see if we can get these there's not very much else running there let's see if we can get these images up and running that's not going to apply oh that's here we come something is happening here okay that looks good but that's not the one we want so we close that oh that went away good and fast didn't it that's looking good as obviously we got rid of the backlog that was happening in the background the computer was expecting to run with too much in the real world now what, what we would do, do it at home if we weren't online we would we would reboot the computer and what all the, conf the, the conflicting bits and pieces that are going on in the background would uh, take care of them themselves okay let's go with the slideshow here now and see if we can oblige this is where we started the show today back to Susan Susan the Great just taking a little bit of time to open up at least Susan is opening up a little bit now we see the photograph there's a load of stuff here giving difficulty no that's not going to apply just is it will it let me close it off it will close again okay I'm going to do it this way Richie okay oh here we are okay it's building this is not by any means uh, the perfect way of uh, of doing it. Delete, rename, folder, new, open view, select, copy. Okay, it's coming up quite small on your screen and uh, when, when loads of things go astray on you it's quite hard to get your head to to work file you can see there's problems coming up here as well because it's not giving you the option to give different views and that's why so i could give you different uh, bits and pieces anyway this is Su um is susan's one we've talked with that past one this one has come in from mary you'll be able to see this now when you go to the vlog because the vlog is up and running on the website and it was working yesterday it's not connected to this so it'd be quite good irene put this one in of uh of, of three people and the story that goes with it is is quite good i played with it and brought it from the center to one side and then i brought it into black and white to see how it would go this was the one that Gary had sent in and I just did the little changes on it that I told you about. This one came in from, from, from Maura and uh, uh, everything changes every so often and people do different variations and different bits and pieces and um, uh, she, uh, instead of putting her name, she called the file freedom which which is fine because it has its advantages uh because that that would work in a different way in a different set circumstances to to my advantage but it's just interesting uh this one here with susan i put pat five in front of it that was i was trying to get them to fall into a particular se sequence she put it in as susan one and, and a date and these came in from etna a number of photographs that she had given in to us about um her bowl of fruit and when you read the vlog it's it, it's a very interesting one i've used one photograph at the end of it declan put in his photographs of his feet and i just changed it around and made it a little bit darker there bonnie put in this one and it's a super 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 shot uh, but here what i have done since the computer is not showing it uh, you, you later on i I'll, I'll get some way of, being, of you being able to see all these 
Um, in this particular one, it's, it's an excellent shot, but she could have brought up the, the, the whole photograph by taking out. And there's a couple little bits of pieces here giving trouble on the corners. And this little bowl here is very white and it's on the corner. So when you're looking for buried bodies, when you're doing photographs to get those extra few points, always run your eye around the exterior of it. And in this shot, I have taken them out. Bernice sent this one in to me, and it's a lovely photograph. Uh, all I did with it was I just changed the colour balance in them. And I could not find where Bernice had put in the little bit of copy, a little bit of writing to go along with what she had um, what she had done. And I was about to send back... No, that is true, because the whole system, yes, Patricia, you're not seeing individual photographs because the system has broken down and my computer is almost half crashed out at this stage. We're, we're hanging on by a, by a wing and a prayer just at, at, at present, but I will make some other way of you seeing it later on. And that's why you can't see those things. So you, you know about what I'm talking about anyway. And then we come to this one up here. Now, this is... This is Pat O'Leary's photograph and Pat has just joined us and come into the system. I hope you're out there somewhere, Pat, and you are listening to us. Uh, if not, hopefully you'll pick as well. This is not a great one to go back and look at with all the mistakes and all the challenges that are in it. But he sent this photograph into it. I don't know whether he sent it in as the best photograph he had ever taken or whether it was for some copy to go with for the um, for the blog. It doesn't matter. The most important thing of all is that you, we are learning how to send in photographs and how to respond to them and get them into the system and different bits and pieces. Those of you who are sending your stuff in as blogs, as it was coming in, I was learning things about it. And with my first blog to put together. And it's a great advantage when you put when you start your blog with your bit of your copy with your name. And when you go to the blog, you'll see why. Because I put your name up on the top of each one so I know who has it. If not, I have to it's it's just a matter of copying and pasting and making it bold when when it's sitting there. Didn't know that. I couldn't have told you that until we have done it. We have to make the mistakes and get up and going before we know where we're going. And, and then it comes to the great Patricia. If anybody is going to do it different in a different system, <clears throat> it will be Patricia. And she always absolutely amazes me because it's a way I have never thought of doing it. And I, I like to see this coming in. I like to see the bits that come different because um, we have a system for it to be, we work around it and uh, find out what it was. Like Pat O'Leary's is coming in the way we would like to see images coming in for the people <clears throat> who uh, are not tied up with the actual uh, course that we're doing, but are just following us on a live stream. And it's another way of getting to know you send your images to the Enoiga um, email address which is the, the name the email comes up at the beginning of each one of these um, sessions you see it on, on the first screen it's Enoiga photo um, at uh, gmail.com and uh, you can just send it there and because it ends up in our system there and again it gets transferred and it can be it can become here it's a lovely photograph it's a picture we can't uh, bring it up a little bit uh, bigger uh, because it might, might all crash and i'm afraid to do that it's very interesting photograph with these two apples when i looked at it at first i found a conflict between those two apples and i thought we're kind of making it look strange but when you come to think about it, it is actually a strong part of composition. Because if you use your third line coming down there and a third down there, across here and across here, they are on the opposite opposing diagonals of the three points where the um, where where they intersect. And that's one thing that is uh, a positive uh, when it comes to using uh, turns and for, for lines. It's an awful pity I can't, uh, if, I, if I brought it up and made it bigger, I mean, we might lose it might lose everything now while well, back to susan susan is operating which the way a lot of our people will be operating she is doing everything on her phone and on her ipad so everything is in a different way of doing it and patricia is spearheading it out there for us and um, to fi find out ways of doing it and the way she sent this little vlog into us was a set of five or six photographs and she named each one of them by a different name, Red Cottage, Red Bells and whatever. 
and that's the way she put it in. So when it came to the vlog, you're in the vlog, Patricia, but it's different to everybody else's. And they come in as a set of all these images. Actually, you're the very first one. I think the very first one you'll see with her be her yellow flower. Now, on the vlog, and it's all experimental for us, if you tip on, when, when, when you go in, you, you tip on the on the on the vlog at the beginning, and it'll probably be Patricia's flower, you'll say, the yellow one and it will bring you into the vlog. It works very well on the phone and it also works very well on, on a computer. It'll work in either, it's designed to work in either, in either spot. And uh, <clears throat> But when you get into it, you'll see a, a gallery of Patricia's images and they look really, really well. I tried tipping one of them and it expanded and I found it very difficult to get back to, to, the, um, to the vlog. You have to hit the back button. There's no button that I could find on it that would, that, that would bring you back into it. And then you go down through all the different ones and look at the, um, the comments that go along with it. And uh, when you put the two of them together, it creates um, a magic all of its own. Right, so that's what, what, what all of that was about. Uh, you will be receiving your um, uh, You'll be receiving your link to it uh, on WhatsApp uh, after we go offline here. So that was what that was. So we'll we'll let that go, and we will. You're going to get off early today because all you're going to hear about is full camera on screen. Okay. So we're now back to full camera on screen, and the sound is coming through. At least this little bit uh, is is working relatively well. So you thought you'd get away without get, getting uh, your little project to do, but <clears throat> unfortunately, no. It came back at the last minute, and it worked for you. Now, the the next project leads on to a lot of other little bits and pieces. And because you become so good, and we have pushed out the the boundaries of of uh, where we we are, and uh, we're learning more and more technical things. These are little bits of technical um, aspects that we're going to do. Now I know Gary might have left us at at, at this stage if he hasn't got frustrated with all the stuff that went before this. Uh, Gary will understand and know most about these sort of things because because as Mary says, he could be gone. He was half eleven. Anyway. He'll hear about it when he comes back, because uh, Gary does this quite a lot, and he's been on my course. Anybody who's been on my courses have heard me talk about this, and Gary came one time to a course that I was giving to give me a hand with the, with the new people, and he was great at explaining these sort of things to, to them. Right, so what is it? It's exposure compensation. All right. Of all the things that you can learn on your camera, the one thing that is a life changing experience, if nothing else you learn, if you learn all about exposure compensation, it will improve your photographs no end. It's one of those really nice little things to know about, like a focus lock and exposure compensation, those two things. But the one we're going to work with uh, for your homework is the exposure compensation. Now most of you will know what I'm talking about, but some may not. So I'm going to assume that nobody knows what I'm talking about. And if you have trouble to know, it's, say it's not on my camera, I can't find it. It's not on my phone, I can't find it. There's a very, there's a 99% possibility that it is there. And if it's not there, there are workarounds that you can go with to uh, sort it out. So what we do is on your camera, at the back of the camera, on the little screen here, oh, put your finger in the right spot, there's one of those that usually say plus minus, and that's where you get to your exposure compensation. Usually there's a button, really easy to get to, that pops it up on the screen for you. Uh, sometimes it's more complicated and you have to go and uh, find it in the menu. On a phone, um, if you go into the more advanced settings, it will be in the advanced settings. And if it's not in the advanced settings, you can do a little cheat on it. Do you know when you're using your phone and you tip anywhere on the screen and it gives you the sliding scale that lets you make it brighter and darker? That's kind of the same sort of thing. So you can cheat it there, right? And you can do it that way. So the project is to go and find a photograph that has a high contrast level so that it goes from very very bright almost burning white 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 beyond white 
right into black, 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 right? A good place to do this is inside in your house and half pull your curtains and put, make the photograph to be the dark room inside and the brightest day you can possibly get outside. Just type, that's the type of photograph you are trying to, trying to achieve. This will not be a photograph of technical technicalities and I, I give a note about the composition or talking about the composition or whatever. This is purely to do with the technicalities and understanding and getting one's head around how these sort of things um, work. Later on we will be doing other projects like this that will be more advanced. So this is a good way of getting yourself in to do it. If you do it and it goes completely wrong on you, still send me the images, right? Uh, it's all a learning curve for everybody and sometimes it might take a couple of attempts to to get these sort of things up and running so the photograph we're looking for is taken in from extreme white to extreme darkness all the extremes and the result of this will be the camera will not be able to cope with the highest highlight and the darkest shadow it's a little bit like susan's photograph of her two little horses where there was trouble with the highlights right that's kind of the situation that it will be used in but we're going to try and find a you'll try and find a location where that is extreme okay so the first photograph you take is on automatic okay uh program auto okay uh, leave your iso at auto as well we're not going to be moving that on on this occasion just leave it on auto and set the first take the first photograph at automatic all right just as it would come up if you can put your camera on a tripod to achieve this uh, it will be a, a help because the projects that will be coming up later on works better if it's on a tripod just takes one of the variables out of it that you're not going to have shake if you don't have a tripod don't have the time you can do it with, without it'll work it'll work both ways so that's what you do and then what i want you to do is i want you to with exposure compensation ev value is called sometimes i want you to underexpose it by one stop that's they say it goes minus one take a photograph then go minus two and take a photograph minus three as far as your camera will allow you go in that direction now as you are taking the photographs they will not look right that is success we're not expecting it to look right we are look and then you go back and you go plus one plus two plus three whatever your camera will give you so it goes from from one extreme to the other and one photograph will be extremely light and one photograph will be extremely dark and you will see the changeover from the highlight detail to the shadow detail. And this is a real important concept, especially for the intermediate to advance. And now as we're coming, as we're in our lockout, lock in, <laughs> um, this, it's a time to practice with these sort of things. And there'll be other exercises coming up where we'll expand more into the whole area of exposure. So that's what I want you to do. When you have it done, it's going to be slightly different to usual because you'll be sending me five or six photographs. And I want you to name them, again with your name, right? If Pat O'Leary is sending stuff in, you're going to have to put in Pat O because um, there's Pat Gallagher as well. So we have two Pats and the Mary, has, we've only got the one Mary at present. But you know, when there's more than one um person we have to try or put in your surname if you want to it's fine but instead of following it with the date or whatever you can follow it with what it was set at was it auto so it becomes say peter and then you follow that with <coughs> auto and then the next photograph is peter plus one but don't put in the symbol plus uh, one put in right plus one uh, because sometimes file names objects to things like like symbols going into it it doesn't like it okay the next one call it peter plus two then plus three and then if you're going the opposite way instead of putting in the minus symbol say minus one two three so you should have four or five photographs coming in coming in the normal way into me <coughs> excuse me, on my, on, on the Skype, um, on, on my Skype name. Those who aren't working within the Skype system can send it to the Anoiga phone um, email address 
and it will be picked up there and I will receive it. Um, if you are doing it that way, try and get it in a little bit earlier because it passes through from Etna to me. If it comes straight to me on the Skype, it comes much quicker. But you can operate either system. Or if all else fails, you can put it up on, or send it directly to me on Skype. Right, and not on Skype, but on WhatsApp, you can send it straight in there, and um, that's the way Patricia does a lot of her stuff, and that's quite acceptable as well. Okay, and uh, then we will have a look at them and see how they are getting on. It is an experiment in a couple of ways of seeing how it goes, how we're going to manage to get the images to me, how I'll download them, um, and then we come back to the next live stream, which hopefully won't have all these challenges that we had in this one we'll be able to, t to talk to it in greater depth. Now, some people are out there probably going mad and saying, I don't know what that's about, I don't know, <clears throat> whatever I'm giving out. All you have to do, you are now on YouTube. Above your head, there is a little bar that says uh, search. Put in the make of your camera and put in EV after it or put in exposure compensation and it will give you a tutorial of how to do it on your camera or on your phone and that's another part of the learning uh, experience because everything that i run into trouble i go to, to youtube i will be absolutely lost without it because that's where there's somebody else now, if you don't get one you understand go to another one because it's some people <clears throat> have a different way of, of looking at it than what, what other people have what we are building towards is the triangle of exposure right and it's something that it was one of those technicalities that sounds very technical and I don't want to see you all leaving me uh, because we've gone into technical type stuff, but it will improve your photography no end, especially for the intermediate and the advanced people. This is where, and I know you have listened to these, nothing will be new, you'll have heard it all before, but this time we're going to do it step by step. You have something to do, you do it, and if you do it wrong, at least you know it's wrong, and we can go back and we can go and uh, do it right. Uh, hopefully I have said everything and I have explained everything. Uh, the other question that I wanted to cover was that people were wondering, how to put a, a comment up on the live stream it wasn't working for them there's two places to put comments on these live stream on this live stream when it is live it's on the right hand side and there's a little box down there and it says uh, chat publicly um with your own name beside it and if that's there now remember it's public it goes right out to the very public uh, and you put it in there and there's a little V box that on the right hand side of it, press it and it will go live. Anybody who wants to practice, they can put up I'm here or hello or whatever and they will see it coming up. When the live stream ends, I don't think that works. I, but there comes another place where you can leave a comment and that's underneath the video. If you're looking at it in playback form, uh, there's a spot down there where you can leave uh, a message and uh, you can put up a comment underneath. Um, it doesn't work unless you're subscribed and most people have now come subscribed and hopefully most people are finding me without having to have the link or getting the link on their email or whatever and that's a great improvement as well we will continue doing it to those who are finding it a little bit difficult until we eventually get them all in subscribing doesn't cost money it's, it's it sounds like it costs money in youtube but it doesn't and there's thousands and millions of subscribers out there and even some youtubers who are putting up bits and pieces have millions of people subscribed to them i think if you look at ours we've 17 or 14 or something like that they're the people who are watching us uh, regularly okay sorry about the technical hitches to this morning you're getting off early uh, and we will hopefully not have these issues the next time around not seeing individual pictures oh yes Patricia Devlin is okay and Eileen yes hear that thanks Peter is coming through you can see those things coming up there now some people might not be seeing it coming up on their screen and they're saying where are these things coming up that is because you have the um, the image filling your full screen if you you go to the bottom right hand corner of the YouTube there's a square little box down there and you can tip it and the picture will take up a part of the screen and this and the uh, comments will be over on the on the right hand side and that's probably why you can't see the spot uh, to send the, um, uh, the 
to comment or the live stream comment as well. Keep on pressing every little button that you can find and we will find out things that we didn't even know. Remember tomorrow it's group 3 and group 4, or 4.1 because 4 had a little problem. And uh, one will be at 10 o'clock and the other one at half 11. I will ring you and we will try and talk through the issues. Anybody who has any challenges or difficulties, uh, they can um, put up questions up onto WhatsApp and I will see it there. And other people will see the question coming up there as well. And somebody else may have the answer and you might get your answer there as well. Or you can contact one another and you can work outside the groups as well with one another. Just because we're not all in the one room doesn't mean we... We don't have the system of contacting one by ringing or by putting something up on, on WhatsApp or whatever. OK, folks, take care. Thank you. Until the next one. Hopefully we won't have as many technical hitches the next time round. And next time round, I will hopefully be able to show how I got Etna's photograph to the photograph that I did and how Bonnie's photograph ended up the way it, it ended up. That was the plan. At least we got through Gary's and we explained the... Um, the levels and how it was off and exposure compensation is all to do with this and if you look at the uh, histogram when you're taking your shot you can you can see it coming up the more advanced people will even find out, out more about what's going on and they can see their exposures and, their, and the aperture and the sure speed and all is going to be up there but for those starting off i'm just looking for the main part of it with the exposure compensation if it's too complicated make your own way of doing it and send some sort of images into me and that will keep me happy they are to be in before the next live stream which will be monday lunchtime i'm looking for them so it gives me monday afternoon to get them all organized and into a sequence because it does even though uh, you didn't see much of my labors this time but you will see it in the blog that will be coming to you and uh, etna will put up the link to the blog uh, on the um, Skype on the group called class it's, it's just it's just class is called and don't use that to ring anybody but there will be information up there and you can you can answer and talk to one another there as well but if you hit the call button to call people there'll be about 15 or 16 people trying to answer you and the whole thing just collapses okay take care slonig is bannocked and uh, off for the brandies and the coffees take care thank you short one today but we'll be more organized next time take care bye